It's time for the Gizwiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1970, recorded January 4th, 2024. The best of 2023. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have the absolute best gadgets of 2023. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the Sigma Show with Dickie D and OMG Chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now, now, and here he is, the best host, Dick D Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? <laughs> I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good. Doing good myself. Uh, We just had a quick break. We are now in the best gadgets of 2023. We just recorded the worst gadgets of 2023. Um, I did do a little costume change because Disney does something very weird. They will sell you the I Did It t-shirt for their marathons before you'd run the marathon <laughs> they will se- they they will sell you the merchandise for it before you actually run the uh, thing you're buying How the merchandise about if you don't run at all can anybody buy them yeah oh yeah I, in fact they had the store so this is my first run disney event is actually happening in 2 days for me um and so that's why I'm wearing uh the shirt um, and yeah, you, it's a whole process. You get your bib, um, that you wear for your, for your race. Uh, and then they have a whole expo center and they have a store for the merchandise. And I could buy any races shirts <laughs> that I wanted to. Oh I'm doing the half marathon. I'm not doing the 5k, the 10k, and they have a full marathon. Um, and, but I could have bought the t-shirts for any of them <laughs> at the expo. There is a special shirt that you get. Um, it, per, for participating, so there's one. It's basically like the exclusive shirt for you who's running it. Uh, and same thing with the medal. You can't just get a medal for. You can't just buy a medal. You actually have to finish the race. And also, they don't even give you the medal until you finish the race. You do have to oh, finish the, okay. the race to get the medal. Um, but uh, but yeah. So I thought that was very funny. Um, and so I'm wearing my half marathon run Disney shirt and it has Donald looking just tuckered out there on the front. He just ran his half marathon. Oh yeah, I see. Yes. <laughs> He's like, Was uh. last week? This will be in two days. So last week oh. to the recording. Oh. So in two days I'll be running uh, the half marathon for oh, um, okay. for Disney. And I have never like I have never seen so many people run. There's gonna be I think it's like I mean, it's thousands. It's going to be bigger than any of the races I think I've done so far. Um, and then also, those races didn't really have a expo and a place to go with all these people. I mean, I had to wait in like a 30-minute line just to get the bib that you wear, the number that you wear um, as your official. That's like your official ticket to actually run in the race. Uh, it took me a while just to get that. Um, so... Uh, uh, it's it's an interesting, it's my first one, so it's an interesting perspective on how to and run a race. it's all on the property, the whole yes. race? Yes, so uh, every course is a bit different. Like the 5K course, because you're only going three miles, you basically run th- down through Repcot and out, and that's about it. Oh. My course, I'll be going through, I think... Uh, through Epcot, I'll be going up to Magic Kingdom through Hollywood Studios and back to Epcot. I believe that's my course. Um, Animal Kingdom is really hard to get to because it's so far away, so you have to do the marathon in order to do that one. And that one will make, I think, it over to uh, um, Animal Kingdom. Um, but yeah, so so I'll be I'll be going to a few of the parks running through them. Um, and so it'll it'll be. Uh, It'll be a, quite the experience because running oh, no, it through sounds great. the park is going to be crazy. Just absolutely crazy. Is the park <laughs> open or is it like... So the, the race morning? will start around 5.30 a.m. A.m. And uh, the park will open, I think it's at 9. 
or, or each park is different. I, uh, maybe around eight for some of them. So it's it's different for every park. Um, and they do sweep. They do like you know, if you're too slow, that'll just you know your <laughs> your race is over. Sorry. Um, uh, but uh, but yeah. So the, the, everyone talks about running through Magic Kingdom. Right. You know, you run down um, the. Uh, uh, Main Street, Main Street USA, yeah. and how awesome that is, and how, how cool that'll be. So that'll be the first time I'm going to experience that. Um, so yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to it. It should be a ton of fun. This one is also going to be one that I just don't care about my race time. Like with the half marathon that I did, um, and the ten miler that I did, I cared about how fast I was running. And I'm not going to care about how fast I'm running on this one because they also have photo opportunities with characters. They oh, have okay. they have a lot of kind of reasons to stop <laughs> while you're running. You just stop and then take a photo or uh, yeah. stop and and you know do something. Um, yeah, you stop and you have lunch. <laughs> right. They have like really cool like mile marker signs. So like stop, take a selfie. They're all kind of photo oh, opportunities. Oh, that's great. Oh, take um, you. Pictures for the show. Yeah, so you don't have to pay admission to enter the parks. Um, you do the run itself does cost money. It's one of the more, as Disney does, it's one of the more expensive runs out there. They kind of do that with everything. It's more expensive park ticket, more expensive cruise line, more expensive hotel. It's a more expensive run uh, than the others. Um, you can spectate though, in the spectating is free I, because you don't actually get to ride any of the attractions or anything. But if you show up, you can spectate inside of Magic Kingdom for free for a few hours um, and then they kick you out. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, should should be a lot of fun. I, you mentioned something I may have skipped over. I forget. Um, so yeah, it'll be 13.1 yeah, yeah, miles exciting. on uh, Saturday will be my day. They also do a thing that's kind of special to them is they do challenges. So if you buy uh, all the races, the 5K, the 10K, the half marathon, and the marathon, and you do them all, and that happens one day after another, so four races over four days, you get another medal called the Dopey Challenge. And so you get this Dopey um, uh, from the Seven Dwarves uh, on your medal, and so you get a special medal just for running all four of the races. They also do some challenges again, um, because Disneyland's um, run is going to happen, so you could do it at Disney World, go all the way across the country, do it at Disneyland, and you get a, a special oh coast-to-coast -coast medal. Um, and so they, they have kind of fun things like that, too. Uh, one day, I'm not I am realistic enough to know that I probably cannot handle the Dopey Challenge at the moment. Um, so, not for me. And also, they were already sold out. <laughs> they oh, sell out okay. really fast. So, wasn't able to do that. Um, but okay, that's, a, that's my... I'm that's surprised what, you don't have a medal for people who don't enter anything. They do have that. It's called the virtual oh, medal. <laughs> No, I'm it's just called what? The virtual medal. You can virtually oh, oh, run. Virtual? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, oh, can pay, one of them. you can pay money, and they basically just ship you a medal because they don't, they're not going to verify anything. You can just say that I ran it. <laughs> uh, so I'm throwing a okay. bit of shade. I'm throwing a bit of, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, under people under the bus. Is, yeah, the virtual medals kind of feel like that. Is uh, You don't have to do anything. You just get a medal. Um, but, yeah. So, um what position they start being... Yeah, no, I, no, never. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Captain J. Uh, okay, well, let's get into the best of 2023. Um, we looked through all the gadgets. Dickie D had more than I did this episode. Um, and these are going to be some of our favorite gadgets that we covered. Um, on my list was definitely the ones that I went and bought and used the most. Um, yeah was definitely kind of how I was imagining my list. Um, so we'll kick it off with you. Uh, okay, so very strange to be on the list is a toilet paper holder. And uh, I like this so much, I have now bought three. 
uh, went to the studio, went to the bathroom in my apartment, and then Dennis said, uh, buy one for me too. And what's neat about these toilet paper it, uh, holders are they take the mega rolls of toilet paper and it just slides on so that you don't have to worry about underneath. I, I, I put it up with double face tape. What's neat about that is you take one of those giant rolls that will fit nowhere near the lower thing that was, that's built in. And I put a little clip on the ends because if you pull the toilet paper at a weird angle, you can pull it off. So I have a little clip there. But I like there's a little shelf on top. And when you're taking a shower, I put my glasses and my phone there. Uh, there, there. There's a little clip that I have. And they were 12 bucks. And since I bought mine, I believe they now have a version in black. It also comes with screws, but <laughs> trying to screw something into tile is pretty impossible. Um, so... I that like, is something I like a lot, and it's still, yeah, still 12 bucks. Oh, I like this a lot. A great... I think they need to make a, a right-handed version and a left-handed version so that you don't need the clip, because if it had slid on the other way, you could have just pulled it towards oh, you, yeah, that's, yeah, and it would have not fallen off the edge of it. Yeah. They need to, like, make it so that, depending on which side of the wall, the... Uh, oh, that's interesting, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's cool. I I cool. remember seeing this and and I think this is great too. Um, just the shelf alone, you know. Yeah. Ignoring the fact that it'll help with the larger size rolls, it's super easy to s switch the roll. Um, I just love that shelf. <laughs> that is like the most convenient thing, um, is to have a little shelf there, because. Uh, yeah. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Great. Okay, well, the next gadget that uh, you covered, but I actually ended up buying and I've used a few times, was a portable folding table. Oh, this thing is neat. Yeah, yes. tell me your experience. So I bought the exact same thing. The one that I ended up buying was the silver version, this one right here. And here, let me uh, get your video up because uh, I think that'll explain it a bit better is it, it packs down into quite a small little square. And then it uses like an accordion action. That's it folded down to it unfold. Comes with that bag. Yeah, it comes with the bag and the bag's nice. Um, and then it'll unfold and there's, you know, extra bits to it that make it pretty sturdy and lock it into place. And it's a great surface, and I use it while I'm camping. Um, camping or at the beach, um, it really does, you know, all the four legs kind of make it so it has a very nice uh, platform. It's great when I'm at the beach to keep, like, a water bottle off of the sand if I just don't want sand everywhere or a great place to put a, uh, uh, a phone or a Bluetooth speaker. Um, I've used it quite a lot uh, for, for that because, you know, you just don't want to track sand everywhere and uh, the sand will just fall right off of this. Um, and it was inexpensive too. That's the other nice thing. It's, it's small, it's compact, it's very sturdy, and it was inexpensive. Um, so I just, you know, did everything that I needed it to do, 12 bucks uh, for it. And there we go. This is, that's like, that's me using it at the beach. Um, I really, really ended up liking it a lot. No, so. yeah. no I think it's great, line. too. Yeah, I, I did it on ABC, and, and a lot of people said, oh, what's the link for that? Because this is going to be great for ma mainly, even if you, I, I see people in the park sitting on the grass, and they try and stand a bottle up, and it keeps falling over. Exactly. And uh, I just remember that there's plastic uh, on top of the fake wood, Right. So when you take plastic away, there's no reflection. It looks even better. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. as you said, it's just a, a place to have a sturdy a surface to put things. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it just it was a gadget that did its purpose so well. So uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, okay. Back to you. For... Okay. My next gadget has been a lifesaver. It's from Anchor Works. And it is their wireless mic system. 
and it's very clever. It comes with a fitting for Android and for uh, iPhones. You get two wireless mics. As soon as you open the case and put the mics on, you plug the little receiver into your phone. There's also an attachment if you're using it with a, a camera, with a, a, a still camera. And you can walk up to, they say, 600 feet from the uh, tr uh, receiver. It automatically goes to mono if you just take one microphone out of the case. It has a really strong magnet on it, so it's very clever. You can take the magnet off, put the mic up against your shirt, and stick the magnet inside your shirt. Hold the mic wherever you want on your clothing. Or you can put the clip on the back of the mic in any angle. So no matter which way you want the mic to face, you just click on the uh, little clip in the back, which is magnetic. Uh, comes with two little mic covers. Another great thing, if you have your own favorite mic, you can plug your mic into their mic. So their mic could be like on your belt and your mic wherever you want. And then just use their mic as the transmitter back to the receiver on your phone. Um, I think it's really great. And if you've listened to any videos that we've done from, I forgot when we did this uh, March or April, um, they've, it, it's great. You don't have wires draping anywhere. And it's $250. If you're in no hurry for it, um, just keep checking the price because before Christmas they dropped it to one ninety nine. Oh wow! And now I noticed it's uh, back up to two uh, fifty. Um, but I, I like this a lot. And I remember you went through a few of a few mics that look similar with the same sort of like wireless yes. case yes. and charging and yeah. and all that stuff. And, and um, static and, right. and mic drop out. And then when I went to this Anchor uh, event, I thought, oh, my gosh, finally someone with a big name making it. There is another one, but you knew about it, but it's $350, right? The DJI uh, yeah, the, one yeah. is the yeah. one you're thinking of, or no, I was uh, suggesting. Yeah, it is more expensive. Um, I've been using um, a different mic system. This one's actually from Zoom, um, but it does not wirelessly transmit. So the, t the difference is that it is just records it just to an SD card. It's itty bitty, but... Oh, it, oh, oh, okay. So it doesn't transmit at all. It just records to an SD card. So you have to go into post-production and get whatever was recorded from the camera and then whatever was recorded from the mic pack and you gotta sync them up and then delete the audio from the camera and then you're left only with the audio from the mic pack. Um, and the advantage is that it ne you never deal with wireless. You know, you never deal with anything wireless. It's just a little recorder only. It's oh, no, I see, okay. It has no oh, I, wireless I, I... capability at all. Yeah. Uh, um, the Anchor also has a, uh, a place to put an SD card yes. in case you want to record onto the SD card in addition to what your phone or camera is recording. Yeah. You would have a backup. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. That's great. So th there's a whole bunch of mic options, but I think that the one you found is probably out of that category of wireless connected mics that are kind of all in one sort of system. And automatic. Open and automatic, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't have to yeah. find a frequency. You don't have to worry about squelch. Is squelch on or squelch off? What should I do about that? You don't have to worry about, you don't have to become an audio engineer to work it. Well, I think squelch is an option. I didn't <laughs> buy the squelch. <laughs> exactly. Um, we had to deal with that at the Minecraft marathon when we were doing the um, charity marathon. Was Squelch was turned on on our microphones, our wireless microphones, and that was causing all the issues was oh we had Squelch gosh. on. Oh, my gosh. An actual problem from, from experience. Um, uh, so 
Anyway, it's, uh, I think that this is probably the best option that I've seen other than the DJI, which is more yeah. expensive. So that's good. That's great. Um, okay, this is another one that you covered, but I absolutely loved. We kind of, you kind of honestly went on a, I think Foam Lanch was uh, the inspiration. Got it started, yes. <laughs> yes, but we went on a kind of a kick of finding really cool bow guns, and I think you found the coolest one. Um, it's First off, it's shaped like, a dump truck, which is really, really cool. Or not a dump truck, but a uh, bulldozer. A tractor. A yeah, tractor, like a tr yeah. And um, it has an auto-filling chamber. It's battery-operated. And it's trigger-operated. So you can just hit the trigger and then... Oh, God, I forgot. It had LEDs on the front? Oh, my it gosh. It has LEDs. And twin, just twin look motor. at the bubbles. Continuously. <laughs> It's just crazy. I think our and only, uh, the only thing we didn't like about it was that handle at the bottom is where we thought the fluid would live, but it doesn't. Yes. It's just, <laughs> it's just a handle. But that I, was awesome. I don't know why they put that on there because the device takes an entire bottle of bubble soap inside it. Yeah, yeah. I think so, it was just for looks. I think it was just. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe kids like to have the big handle. I don't know. But once again, we had covered a few of these bubble guns, and this one just really hit every category. It worked well. It was continuous bubbles. It had the LEDs on the front. We love the modeling of the truck. Um, and and it 30 just bucks. It, it, oh, yeah. <laughs> the other thing was cheap. So uh, here it is. <laughs> 27 Oh, now. 20, not 28 bucks. Um and so, yeah, we had a, a really fun time with... Yeah, and rechargeable battery. Yes, yeah. Oh, I love how they think that for wedding photos, you'd be using the bulldozer <laughs> bubble <laughs> machine. <laughs> also, are we not drinking and driving in this photo? What is actually it's happening? It that way, doesn't it? <laughs> I dr drinking, driving, and shooting multiple bubbles as we drive. <laughs> What on earth is that? I hope that those are root beer. <laughs> what on earth are we condoning here? And that is so funny. Yeah, anyway, so that ended up being probably the best out of the bubble guns uh, that we saw and uh, just just loved it. So yeah, that's the great. Bubble, it's the, great. The double blasting bubble machine. Back to you. Um, okay, something that Dennis and I loved, especially living in a small apartment, are these magnetic, they're, they're sold as magnetic spice shells. But of course, they're empty shells. You can use them for anything. And so I bought two sets of them. You get four in the set and a paper towel dispenser, also magnetic. The paper towel, the magnetic paper towel dispenser, oh, and they, the magnet is so strong that I, I couldn't believe it, what it took to pull it off. So basically, I, I rarely use my stove because I now have an air fryer and the microwave oven, so the stove is a waste of space. So now over the stove... I have two of these shelves hanging. One of them I use for glasses. One of them, uh, I, I have a, a cup with pens and pencils. I have a flashlight in one of them. The front of the refrigerator, I took the uh, paper towel holder, which is just a rod that's sticking out, and I use it, finally have a place to hang uh, dish towels. Then I have another one, on the side of my microwave and I have several things on there and Dennis Dennis's desk is just a flat shelf so now he put two of these on the side of his computer and he has a little more storage right at his workspace so That's great. these these are one of my favorite things and they can hold I believe the copy set up to 15 pounds uh, for each shelf, so it, they're they're pretty nifty. You know, I have seen these recently, um, in the weirdest place. I saw them on TikTok, and I think we even talked about. I think the chat room brought this up that these are great shelves 
for cruise ships because cruise oh. ships' walls are all made out of metal. And so you can slap them onto a cruise ship wall and they'll work, they'll work just as you're describing them. Yeah. Um, and have you seen the World Cruise, Dickie D? The, the Royal World Caribbean... The three World years long? The, yes. That's like yeah, four months on in the sea. Yeah. Well, um, they embarked and... All of them, there's been a lot of them that are on TikTok and they're sharing all the drama and the day-to-day -day things that are happening on the world cruise. And there's characters that are constantly uploading and you're, you get to see inside of people's cabins. Like, you oh, know, wow. there's like this one lady who has like one of the suites on the front of the cabin and, you know, she's there for four months and she's like showing off all of her stuff and... It's crazy, but I have seen these magnetic shelves pop up once or twice while watching those videos because these are these are cruise aficionados. I mean, they've been on yeah, a few cruises. A, a great, useful, and they're. I, I think it was twenty five dollars. Yeah, thirty oh, bucks. Thirty dollars, and four. you get five racks. Yeah, that's a great. I honestly need to purchase this myself. I should have already. Because uh, I got a side of a fridge that's being unused. I'd like to put stuff there. Oh, yeah. It's great for jelly and, and bottles of stuff. It's super. Yeah, condiments. Cool. It'd be perfect for that. Yeah. Even spice, as they say, spices. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Even the original purpose, they can be used for that. <laughs> exactly. I have a shelf, I, you know, I have a cupboard for my spices. Really hard to get at. The ones in the back are basically invisible. Can't find those ever. Um, so, yeah, this is honestly, I don't know why I haven't bought this already. So, need to buy it. Uh, before, uh, you're uh, up next on the dock to go next, but I'm going to scoot in here with... Uh, yep. Last episode, I noticed that one of the items uh, was mislabeled. So I'm going to take a moment to talk about the Fur Zapper. The Fur oh, Zapper yeah. was uh, the product. It, 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 here, and I'll just show you, uh, you the packaging. The idea is that you throw it in your washing machine uh, and dryer, and it will help eliminate fur. And... Um, I did my initial review of it, and you know I liked it. Uh, I had uh, two, or I had a few different T-shirts that I threw through one with the fur zapper, one without, um, and there was a minimal difference in between the two shirts. Um, since then, I have used the fur zappers a lot, often, 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 and I do see a difference. Um, Specifically in the dryer, I don't see them using making much of a difference when in the washing machine, but in the dryer, especially, I kind of purposely like slap it up against the door right in front of the air vent where the the uh, lint trap is, and it really scrapes some fur off of um, my clothes. It is not perfect. It is not going to be a fur-free situation but I can see more fur in the lint trap area than without the fur zapper. So I'm pretty confident that it's working. So it's actually one of the gadgets that I have kept using and I he's still using it to this day. Um, it's not perfect. And this is like maybe 20% less fur on my clothes, uh, but it does get a bit of fur off of the clothes, and so I have kept using it. Um, let's go ahead and look at the Amazon page because I forget how expensive they are. They oh are gosh, twelve dollars, twelve at eighty-eight uh, for the two, which is just how the um, packaging is. It comes with, with two of them. Um, so yeah, the, in fact, mine are starting to get a little bit rounded on the edges, uh, like. They've been eroded <laughs> because oh, okay. so many clothes have gone past them <laughs> and fur has been pulled off the clothes. Um, so it may actually be time for me to get uh, another set. So there we go. The fur zapper. Okay. Back to you for uh, the, the Mecha Night Space Projector. Now, 
this guy was maybe thirty dollars. So, but it does project, unlike our Trax projector. <laughs> uh, it's a little character, okay. And if you want, he comes with a red cape. Uh, Dennis said, "Buy me one of those, but don't put the red cape on it." Um, he he loves it. So what it does is has remote control. It uh, has to be plugged in USB C in, in the back, and then with the remote control, you set the nebula you want. You want it in any one of three LED colors. I used the color uh, mix. And it just creates a movement on the ceiling that I actually it's on right this minute. And if you want to use it to fall asleep, the remote has a little 45 minute or 90 minute timer. And if you lose the remote or you can't find a remote, there are some controls on the base itself. And I think it's cute looking. And um we can go look. I think it still might be thirty bucks. Um, Take a look. But I think kids will love this. But I know like kids would absolutely love this. And I think out of all the kind of star projectors we've seen, it's twenty five, twenty nine, twenty six. This seems like the brightest and easiest to use. <laughs> kind of the nicest projector. I don't. I feel like I don't know how I feel about the. Mecha guy, you know, he's a, <laughs> he's a little bit silly. I kind of wish there was maybe a more adult version that produced yeah, the same yeah, yeah. light. But uh, he gets the job done, you know. No, it does, and and it is a laser, so don't you know point it up at the ceiling. Don't look at it, obviously. Um, but it's great fun. It's yeah. great fun. Yeah, yeah, and the fact that you guys have uh, gotten a few of them and. You know, it just continues to be. I mean, you're using it right now. That's yeah, I am. The definition of a of a good gadget. So uh, that's that's awesome. Um, okay, so I'm a little bit out of place here. Do you want to take the next one? Sure. The LED desk lamp now uh, his another gadget that i love so i have a one of those 27 inch widescreen monitors um but i don't have any room on the shelf where the monitor is so when i saw this led wide angle lens that just has a little clamp in the back so there's no big lamp base and it has three uh uh, five color modes, has a charging port, and uh, believe it or not, when I bought it, it was $24, and I think there was a $5 off coupon. I think I ended up paying $19. It's now $66. <laughs> it makes it seem like it's a piece of furniture. I mean, we're getting yeah. quite yeah, up but there. The, the reviews are 4.6 out of five stars from 226 people. Now, it has a couple of features I don't use, and I found another one without these features that is currently 26 bucks. So, so I'm just uh, looking at the camelizer. It looks like it got as low. Just look at that. Yeah, it looks like it went way, way. Whoops, I'm moving all over the place. Uh, 30 bucks was the lowest, but I remember you having a coupon too. Yes, no, it's 20. Yeah. yeah. So. Look at is that amazing. So now, <laughs> what it at one point it was seventy five dollars. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what? if this is a way to like farm great reviews. <laughs> like, oh, maybe put it at half price to get people to review it so well, and then it's served in search, and people buy it at the higher price because the everyone loved it. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> Maybe that That's that funny. could be, yeah. But you had but I, found it. Here's the alternative that you were talking about. Yeah. Okay. So the 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 mounting is the same. Doesn't. And look by like the way, it. if you are signed in and have Prime, twenty three ninety nine is the wow. actual actual price. Uh, okay. So this has the dim is dimmable. It it has the various 
uh, colors that you can go to from 3,000 to 6,000 K. And, it, and it still can, has that same clamp on the back, yeah, so it'll clamp yes, to the desk. It takes up very little space. Um, this one opens to 2.4 inches, and it's 30 bucks. And did you say there was a coupon there? Yeah, it looked like it. Well, there was some type of savings. It may have been bought by two. Oh, it might have been if, if you're a, a Prime member. Right, yeah. exactly. So okay. it looks like uh, Prime member is the $23, but then if you buy one, say 5%, so you can save 5% off, it looks like. There's a, a 5% promo code. Yeah, and, and it's gooseneck, so you can bend it down right over the monitor or more over your workspace. Um, I, I, I like these a lot. Yeah, just based off of these uh, customer reviews, too, I, the, these desks look so cool with the light on. I, yeah. I like them. I like them a lot. Very, very cool. Okay, I'm going to jump in here uh, right yep. before you round it out. Um, and this is another, this is one that you had, but it, <laughs> it was just too awesome. Just too awesome. You co covered this recently, and you had mentioned that you had found a projector that was for your dog. And the crazy thing is, is that it projected other dogs onto yes. the ground. Yes. And I believe I believe Mo sent me an email with a link. He said, "Do I don't get this gadget." And I I went on Amazon and it was only $10 and I thought, "You know, for $10, <laughs> look at. You put it on your dog's collar and as he walks, <laughs> he's projecting another dog. But that's not all. It comes with 10 different dog slides. Yes. So that you can put choose it, the is, dog. Is it not available? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, it says currently oh, unavailable. Currently unavailable. Oh no, it's too popular. <laughs> and I don't see another competitor. I, this is like one of a kind. Oh my gosh. But the thing is, we passed four dog walkers, three of them stopped us to say, <laughs> oh, what, that is so cute. They didn't ask, what is it for? They just said, that is so cute. And one of them said, oh, I have to, I have to send that to my sister. Where do you get that? I said, just. Nobody what? asked what the point of it was. They were no, just like. <laughs> no one asked what the point. They just thought it was very funny. He had a door. A maybe dog had maybe we are the weird ones trying to figure out what the reason is. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. That and is the I, reason. Dennis, I said, you know what, Dennis? If we take the slide out and we need help uh, picking up poop, we can also just use it as a very <laughs> bright flashlight. <laughs> so it, it's pretty neat. And it's rechargeable battery. I'm sorry it's, it's not on sale anymore. Uh, that is too funny. That is too funny. Yeah, we need to find we need to find a new supplier I, of genius. These are the doggy slides. Dog. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They're tiny, They're itty bitty. Tiny. And then the projector has the little doggy slot projector uh, uh, in here. That's the doggy projector. And then you aim this where you want to. And it comes with a clip on the back, and it also comes with a little, uh, one of these little guys, and a charging cable. I mean, That's that was a so lot for 10 bucks, I, 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 I tell you. It is, they call it the pet social lamp. <laughs> the uh, pet they, social they, they, lamp. Yeah, I want to socialize with my friends. So I'm trying to find another similar product and um custom dog what lights for night walking now the thing is this one says custom so i'm wondering if you're able to add your dog you know what to this one yes it says processing time five to seven days i bet you send in a picture of your yeah. dog yeah yeah that would be the funniest thing ever it's this new this New.com is where I found this. No idea. <laughs> Go to this website on your own uh, risk. I have, no, I have no idea what this website is. But, oh, that uh, is so funny. But that's the device. Yeah. 
Totally. And the way that it's advertising it, it seems like you can customize it to whatever you want. That is so funny. That yeah. would be... Oh, yeah, that's, that's exactly the... Uh... Yeah, the images from the other. Yeah. 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 Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> okay, well, back to you again for, uh, I think, the last of the gadgets we're going to be covering. Um. Yeah, we're uh, a little out of order. I, you had a, an air fryer for a long time. I did. And, and had one, and up came a deal of the day. You know, Amazon does these deals of the day. It was from Oster, and it was their Rapid Crisp air fryer, and it was deal of the day. I think for uh, eighty nine dollars, and. I I like it a lot, and it's it, it's eight different ways you can use it: a regular oven, as a toaster oven, and my favorite is we love air frying French fries. Yes, frozen they, French fries. Yes, I assume. Yes, yes, the best. And you just dial what the uh, item is, and it sets the temperature and the time. And now I know from having done bunches of french fries is that we do it for three minutes less than they recommend um and it has an internal light which i like a lot i i just like this all around my first air fryer i have started air frying all sorts of stuff i kind of went on an air fry binge and oh, like uh, air fry. you can air fry hamburger patties um and uh Are i you? forget I kind of Googled, you know, like typical, oh, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. Pri, pri, you know, times. It's a bit easier to clean. The basket is pretty easy just to throw in the dishwasher for me. Yes. Um, yes. And it just gets clean. Same thing with the, uh, the drip tray. Um, you don't seem like you're a chicken nugget fan, but chicken nuggets are also oh, like. Oh, no, I would be. I would be. I can tell so, you one thing. Don't air fry eggnog. That, now, that was a, that was a, uh. That was not. <laughs> yeah, egg, yeah, eggnog probably wouldn't work I out. Said, then I said, well, you know, they said you do everything. So. <laughs> they fry everything. You know, I have had fried Coke from this t State Fair, of Texas. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think air fried Coca Cola is quite different. Uh, I assume it sounds messy. Um, another thing uh, is corn dogs, frozen corn dogs. Oh, Almost, okay. That's good. Almost That's anything good. in the frozen section How will air fry pretty great. You can't put popcorn in it, right? Because it no. would fall. Yeah, no. popcorn will blow all over the all over the yeah. place. Oh, that's right. Okay. That's right. Um, but yeah, uh, and, and of course, if there's plenty, just Google around and you'll find pr pl plenty of air frying uh, options uh, for for just about everything. I have found that some of the instructions on the back of food that you get from the grocery store won't always include air fry instructions, even if it is something that can heat up in a... If it can, basically, if it can heat up in a toaster oven, it can also heat up in an air fryer a little bit faster. Um, but sometimes there's just not instructions about it, and you got to be smart about you know what packaging you Keeping use. your eye on it, yeah. Right, exactly. And so you got to keep your eye on it and kind of use your best judgment. And also Google is, can also be your friend there. But, um, and this specific design of the air fryer where it can also be a toaster oven or, uh, you know, I assume it has a broil setting, I think, on there too and things like that. So it makes it a much more um, useful gadget to have in the, ha in the house because uh, you can also do your toast on it or... Heat up, you know, bread or whatever. Yeah, no, absolutely. I love it. It's great. It's great. <laughs> you're, you're falling into the air fry fad. Yeah. Although, I don't know if it's much of a fad anymore. It seems pretty, pretty stable. Um, okay, well, that wraps it up for our best gadgets of 2023. I uh, hope that you enjoyed our list of some of our favorite things from the past year. I want to say a huge thank you to our patrons over patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so much for your support of the gizwiz. Uh, if you're watching this after the, or uh, not live, uh, the people in the, in the 
chat room. This does not apply to you, but I'll be at CES. Um, and so we'll be back with our regularly scheduled videos uh, next week. It should be a big, a nice big list of new gadgets that we uh, saw at CES. So that'll be a ton of fun. You can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time at gizwiz.tv. The website will just update with the live stream so you can join along and chat with everybody there. Please do. It's a great group of people there. If uh, you don't catch it live, all our episodes are there after the fact at our website, gizwiz.tv. Head on over to gizwiz.biz. That's where Dickie D writes articles about all the gadgets that we cover on the show. So if you're ever needing a link back, gizwiz.biz is a place to go. While you're there, play. What the heck is it? Uh, and this is the gadget that you're trying to guess what the heck it is. Um, and this is uh, obvious to me that uh, this is a teeny tiny aquarium for keeping <laughs> your uh, sea monkeys with you at all times. So if you think you know what this is, get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz, six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mag magazines for funny, hilarious, and clever answers. So get a guessin' at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.